everybody, welcome to a new video. We only need the two of us together. I need only you in this crazy world. Cause we got love, love. I need only you here with me. Ah, oh, so it is a new week, well, for me it's a new week, like I always say, cinema week start on Fridays, so I'm into a new working week, and it's payday! <laughs> um, so, yeah, me and my mum went out to Leicester this morning, got some new work shoes for Tom, he desperately needed some, um, I just got him some Converse, it was fine, as in like fake Converse, um, and I got myself some new jeans, because all of my jeans have holes in them. Every single one. Um, so yeah, I got some new jeans. But that, on that note, that is what I am doing today. I am going to sort out all of my clothes because I just have way too many. They're out all the time. Um, and I don't wear them all. So I'm going to sort out all my clothes and get rid of any we don't, I, we don't need. <laughs> Tom doesn't wear them. <laughs> that I don't need, don't wear. But yeah. That is what I'm going to do right now, sort out all my clothes, I'm going to start with all my t-shirts. I did do this when we moved out, um, but I just feel like I could do it again. Yeah, I need to condense, um, ready for the new house, uh, which hopefully will be soon, hopefully, we're hoping, we were hoping the end of the month, but today is the 28th, no, 27th, so definitely not the end of May, but possibly the start of the, start of the next month, as in like the first fresh week of the new month we might be signing contracts and things so fingers crossed um just finishing up some bits and bobs so yeah it's all going good but right let's get all my t-shirts out on the bed guys this is honestly ridiculous look how many t-shirts i own i do not need this many how many do we think is here i think about 30 and I do not need 30 t-shirts right let's do keep and reject piles <laughs> this is brand new still has a tag on I haven't worn it yet I got this in H&M but in the kids section I thought it would fit me pretty well always go high sizes in the kids through the madness so this is my I'm quite happy to part with <laughs> um, section I have so many stripes this is my stripes pile <laughs> um, yeah so many stripes that I can downgrade this is a crop top one which I think is too crop for me now so that's gone this I'm kind of just like undecided about these because it's inside out for one but <laughs> that's not the reason why I'm getting rid of it can you see it's just a Mickey? I don't know if I'm kind of past this now. But it's good for Disney. I just don't know, but this was a pyjama top anyway. Oh, maybe I can put it in pyjamas. And then, yeah, basically the same thing. Overprinted. Just didn't wear. Just didn't wear. Got Already got Star Wars tops. This one I do really like. But I just don't wear. It's Frozen 2 t-shirt from Uniqlo. And then there's my little keep pile. It's way less than what it was. It'll have a couple of stripes in, but not all the stripes. And then this is like winter clothes, so that can go, because I'm going to separate all my clothes into uh, spring, autumn, uh, no, sorry, summer, autumn, summer, autumn, winter, spring. So this will be winter, spring. And this will be summer, autumn. Sorted. Good morning everybody, so uh, yesterday when I was doing the wardrobe I then went to work when I was finished um, and then also I just keep going back really late because I finish at about 11 most days. Um, so me and Tom are here, Tom's here, 
We're actually looking forward to having the house to ourselves for a couple of days because mum and dad are going on holiday before us. Um, so, yeah. We're just very ready to have our own house, house again, which is what we keep saying, but like I keep saying as well, living here isn't that bad. <laughs> um, but this morning I've woken up, I've had some breakfast, I just need to drink my tea. But me and Tom are going to watch Obi-Wan Kenobi this morning. He's just sorting himself some breakfast. Um, because it's exciting, it came out on Friday and it's already the next week and we've not watched it yet. It's not like us at all. But coming on to Disney Plus, I've just noticed something else that's in here. Right in the middle. Disney Illuminations, you can watch the Disneyland Paris fireworks. Oh. It must have been put on a while ago though, because it says check out the classic Disney Illuminations. Disneyland Paris offering currently not available. But it is, it's back now. But it's different, isn't it? I don't know, I think it's just got a 30th thing on the front and then it's normal. Oh. But cool. But anyway, time for... Kenobi. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Kenobi. There is two episodes and they're both, the first one's an hour, second one's 40 minutes. Good afternoon everybody. So, my mum and dad have now gone on holiday. It's just me and Tom here. I cannot find my holiday clothes. I know I took them to California, but I don't know where I put them afterwards. And then we moved, so I have no idea where they are. <laughs> um, but they're not in my wardrobe. I mean, they might be in the box on Tom's side, and we've broken the wardrobe, look. The back of the wardrobe's coming off. <laughs> We pushed the boxes too far, um, so yeah, I need to sort that out. But I think they must be in the loft, in our suitcase, so I'm going to have a look. When my dad put this loft ladder in, I always got scared when I was a kid that it was going to hit this light, because look how close that is. It's like perfect fit to just miss the light. <laughs> But I always got scared to go off as a teenager <laughs> because I don't like ladders. <laughs> there is definitely there is definitely something in here. And the last bit. There is definitely what oh, something in here. Let's hope and pray that this is my clothes. Oh no, it's Tom's camping stuff. Oh, I can remember doing that now. Where are my clothes? <laughs> oh, I just don't know. I just need to find my clothes. I don't know where they are. Can't be in any of this. I could probably tell you everything that's everywhere. Obviously, this is my sewing machine. This is all... My office, no, this is all Tupperware, and no, that's a slow cooker. This is DVDs, mugs, books, mugs, bags, kitchen things. And this is kitchen things and shoes. So where is it? Okay, right, let's see. I thought, I thought in here was Tom's winter clothes. So let's see if I put my summer clothes in here as well. Winter. Ooh. Oh yes. Yes. Summer. Is it just Tom's? No, it's mine too. Yes. Found it. <laughs> I thought, I thought this half, which is obviously my Christmas trees and Tom's jumpers filled the entire suitcase. I thought I had more summer clothes. Maybe I just condensed it really well. Hooray, right, at least I have clothes for summer now. <laughs> uh, but right, we're taking this suitcase with us when we go on holiday. Um, which isn't too long away now, yay! Um, I'm excited to go back to France. But right, I'm going to put all these winter clothes in this bag. So that it's all together. And then this is Tom's... Because we're only going for, I think, nine nights. Um, and obviously, shorts are small. 
and you re-wear a pair of shorts. We're only going to take, we've only got hand luggage, we've not got a big suitcase essentially. Um, because it's not a, like a fancy holiday either, it's just a family relaxing holiday. So we don't need that many clothes. Um, but we get a hand luggage suitcase each, Sam's got this one and I've got the Mickey Mouse one. Um, and then we also get a bag like this size each as well that can fit underneath your chair. Um, so we do have two bags each, which is fine. So yeah, this is going to be all of our clothes and then our um, wash bags have already gone with my mum because she has two suitcases between the three of them, like big suitcases. So she just put our wash bags in with them so we didn't have to like get out our liquids in the hand luggage thing, if that makes sense. So yeah, all good, all good in the hood. So now it's just organising. Yeah. And I think I'm now, seems like I found it so early, I thought this was going to take me a while. I might now go through my wardrobe and empty out my wardrobe of things that I don't need and continue the condense. But while I'm out here putting some, be some bedding on the line, I thought I'd give you guys a sunflower update. So I've just moved these guys over here because as you know, my dad did this so that the birds wouldn't get them. He put a bunch over here, but this is, now you can see the extent of how many we have. We have so many. And I've given four people some flowers. Um, but we have loads. So, strawberries, not really too much update. This one's not doing so well. This one's okay. I think I'll put it in a bigger pot when we move. Um, but I'll probably get strawberries like August. So fingers crossed I do, but if not, never mind. It's the first attempt. Um, but yeah, like we said, we put them all up here. This one is starting to get a bit tall, so maybe I'll move him before we leave. But these are all pretty strong on their own in here. But these guys over here, strawberries get thick. Strawberries and <laughs> some flowers. And this guy's getting pretty thick. And he is starting to get a little bendy. So I brought him over here. Put him on his little tray to catch the rain when we're not here and tied him onto a stick. And this guy is also pretty tall and getting a little thick. He has three buddies. Three, yeah, three sunflower buddies in with him. So fingers crossed they can just all share that stick. But they're the biggest and strongest at the moment. So they're over here. And maybe I will bring that pot with that really tall one over here before we go away. But they're good over there for now. There are some that he planted in the ground and they have not done anything. Look, they all got eaten. The tops of the heads of them got eaten, which is real sad. Sad times. Sorry, sunflowers. So maybe next year we need to just have them on, in pots on the ground and then put them in the ground when they get bigger. Because I put mine in the ground at the flat when they're about this big. So they need to be about this big. Before they go in the ground I think yeah but yeah that's it mum's sweet peas have gone crazy that's these and here's that clematis that I said wasn't on the wall uh, wasn't climbing up just yet and now it's madness and these will all be purple flowers just like over here which actually hasn't really done anything it's kind of gone up and round but it's not spread as well as the other side so yeah these two like this, um, up and round. But this other side has done really well. Really, really, really well. And it's got this huge bush in the way. But yeah, this is the sweet peas, which is same as what I have got just here in this diddy pot. And it hopefully will grow that big when we put it in the house, but I kind of want it to spread a little more. That's all in one clump. I want mine to go up and out. But I can't tell if it's going to rain. It's not raining in two days, so if it doesn't rain by the time it gets dark, I'll give the garden a little bit of a water. But I can't tell. It's one of those days. Right. I hope this is going to be a good angle. I can't really tell. This is my wardrobe. If you're wondering where Tom is, by the way, he is doing Pokemon Go Fest today. I've been at work until four and Pokemon Go Fest is on until six. So I've come home and he can either get the bus or walk, it's up to him. 
um, or you know I'll go and end up picking him up but there you go um, so yeah he is out doing his Pokemon Go with his brother um, so <laughs> this gives me some time to make a mess and then tidy back up again before he gets back <laughs> um, so yeah I am gonna do the mammoth task it's not really a mammoth task I don't hardly have that much I just have too much so the same as my t-shirts so yeah I'm gonna start with all the stuff I'm gonna put all the stuff on the bed that I know I want to keep so I'll show you as I pull it out. Okay, so these few things here have been washed, that's why they're hanging up. So this white shirt is a cropped shirt and I'm gonna take this on holiday. I bought it from Primark the other day. It was 10 pound, I think. But I just thought it was really like a staple. It's got this little triangle detail on the back and I can just wear it with shorts or I can wear it um, over or under some dungarees or something like that and it will just work with everything so i'm gonna put that to pack this dress i love this dress apart from the fact that it's too wide here on the sleeves and i kind of need to pin it in a little bit um but this dress i wore to my friend emma's wedding the other day i will um i don't think i've got a picture of me in it but I bought it from a garden centre last year and I did vlog when I got that so yeah if you can remember that <laughs> that's when I got it um, but I really liked it, it was really nice so I'm definitely keeping this, I'll wear it throughout the summer um, might even take it on holiday, it'd be nice to wear it for an evening meal maybe um, but then I've also got this dress which I bought, this was a lockdown impulse buy it's just another halter neck dress um, it's about knee length um, but it's pleated on the front at the bottom if you can tell um but it was seven pounds so i had to buy it and i've not worn it anywhere yet but it's a good one just to have like it works for any kind of event um and i like purple so there we go what else have i got on here so i've got a cardigan I've got a black cardigan and a blue cardigan <laughs> i just wear cardigans all the time so i need to keep both of these I'll thump a blanket, he can stay, but I will roll him up and put him in the blanket box because it's not winter anymore. And same with these if they will fit. Oh, and my orange cardigan, I love this. I wear this all the time. If you watch any vlogs in the autumn, I would be wearing this. Right. <laughs> okay, it's not too bad. Okay, ignore the top for a second. <laughs> right, clothes. Um, as you can tell, it's not too much, but I can't. I want to be able to hang all of my clothes in the new house. I don't want to fold t-shirts or anything. I want to have like a long half like this, and then instead of drawers, have two. There's drawers here if you can't see. Uh, I want to have two hanging rails, so one for t-shirts and one for like blouses, and then the long one for trousers and dresses. Um, and then I'll have a set of drawers for like pajamas and jeans and underwear, um, and that's all I want to have. I don't want to have too many clothes. I want to be able to re-wear things and then when I stop wearing them, donate them. Because I do this thing where I buy new clothes, stop wearing other clothes, and then I just don't ever wear them again because they're not my style anymore or because they don't fit anymore or because, I don't know, I've got new clothes so I don't wear them. So I'm gonna start doing that. And I also want to do a, I keep saying this, I want to do a summer, autumn, and a winter, spring, two sets of wardrobes. So. Um, all my summer clothes will come down in the summer and all my winter clothes will come down in the winter but then otherwise they will go up in like either a suitcase or a vacuum pack bag up into the loft or into the spare room under the bed something like that um, so that they're easy easily accessible but they're not there because I, won't, I don't wear jumpers in the summer and but I do wear jeans so they will just stay there staple in the drawer but I don't wear like dresses in the sum in the winter but they'll be there in case I need one for a party or something like that like if I need to wear a pink flowy dress because someone's getting married or got christening or something like that I can easily get to it yeah let's see what I want to keep okay there is a big pile just <laughs> just on the top of the drawers so let's see what we've got here this does not fit me I was going to give it to my friend who's got a teenage daughter who likes Disney so yeah I'll give her that it's just pajamas 
my spirit jersey. I have to keep it and I have to fold hot and I have to hang it up if I have space after this. I love it. I love it. Okay, same with this one. I think I just really wanted the fluffy trousers. Are uh, these? Oh no, this one does fit. Oh, this one fits. This is fine. It just needs to go in the pajama drawer. Um, semi clothes. Put them to go away. I look more semi clothes. <laughs> just all semi clothes. Yeah, my Mickey vest. My white crop top. My stripy crop top. Okay, these are just all summer vest tops. Okay, these can go on the holiday pile. Oh no, I will not wear this one anymore. I bought it for Disney World to wear in the water parks. Like, just to throw on. It's a stitch top. I like it. But I just don't think I'll ever wear it. But it's a really good, like, if you get invited to a Hawaiian thing. Maybe I'll keep it. This is what I always do. <laughs> is this my Christmas top? Why have I got a Christmas top out? It is my Christmas top. Why is this in the wardrobe and not in with the Christmas clothes? And then under the cardigan. But admittedly, I don't wear this one. So maybe this one can be donated. Okay. Now onto the job that I originally planned. My leather jacket. Oh, I was going to say I was going to keep this, but it's kind of... It's kind of worn. Look, because it's leather, like fake leather. It's all cracked on the collar. But I've had this for ages. I really, I really like it. It's not really my style, but I just really like it. It's just a little tight fitting fabric underneath leather on the top jacket. And it is nice just in the summer to have to go over the top. It's more of a style things and a um, warmth thing but it has oh it does have pockets but they're tiny pockets and it's more of a kid's jacket so it doesn't fit me anymore really maybe I can rebuy an adult version and this can be I don't know if it can be donated it's um kind of crumbling off skirts no, this isn't mine. This is my mum's. This is from when we do like St. Trini and things. So yeah, we have to keep a school skirt just for that reason. <laughs> so I have a lot of skirts like this. The little body conny kind of skirts. But I can't tell if they're too short for me now. Like, I don't wear things like this anymore, but I just really like them. So I can't decide between the fact that I really like them and the fact that I probably won't ever go to pick it up. Like, I want to, but will I? Because they're just a bit short. And I don't know if I'm past the age of wearing this length now. I'm not, because I'm only 25, I know. But my, my brain doesn't go for, for things like this anymore. Like, I wouldn't buy it in the shop because it's too short, but I really like, I really like it. And it still fits me. So I do have a good few. But this one is my favourite because it's like this mandela -y. But it's a really nice blue colour, like it's a mix of blues. And it's super nice. Um, so maybe I'll keep this one. I could wear it with my white shirt. I'll think about it. I'll take it on holiday. That's what I'll do. So if I don't wear it on holiday, I will donate it. If I do and I enjoy it, I'll keep it because I'll wear it at home because I've worn it and I'll know that I like it. That is what I'm going to do. <laughs> Animal Kingdom shorts. I have to keep these. Denim skirt and bodycon skirt. I don't think I'll ever wear either of you, but the bodycon skirt is good to just keep because I could wear it underneath something. Like it's a good thing to just have, isn't it? But the denim skirt, sorry, you passed your time. But this bodycon skirt is longer and it's a bit more um, professional, I guess. And I like it because it's got a gold zip on the back. I just like that. I don't know why. But I would wear this um, for, I don't know, a slightly more formal event, I guess. Or I could wear it with a bodycon, uh, bodycon? <laughs> or I could wear it with a strapless top and it would be quite a nice, like, look like a dress. 
So yeah, I keep this one. Oh, I really like this one as well though. I'm so bad at this. <laughs> I really like this one. This one is slightly longer, but I really like it. It's embroidered flowers. It's so nice. I'm gonna keep this one. It is slightly longer. I'm gonna keep this one. <laughs> These two can both go. Whoa, look at how neon that is. I used to really like it. This was really my style back in the day. Uh, and this one is just not my style anymore either. But you can tell this one's been in my wardrobe like since they didn't come to the new house with me and into the flat. So yeah. <laughs> But we like to keep it, it's one of those things where it's like, keep it for an 80s day, or an 80s party. So maybe you can go in like a fancy dress thing, we do have fancy dress costumes. So maybe I'll get mum to put it in with the fancy dress costumes. Yeah, I'll get her to put it in with the leg warmers. Another one, but sadly, too short for me now. They're short, so they're really nice, but I didn't like it. It looks like a skirt, but it's actually short. Hmm. These two can both go. I won't wear them anymore. This was very much me. The patterns. I have the dungarees of you. So I don't really need you. I don't really know why. I think I bought you because you're a pound. This is brand new. Mum bought me this from, I'm guessing Sainsbury's, because it was three pounds. But it's a black t-shirt. I thought it'd be good for an Animal Kingdom date night. It's Mickey, but it's leopard print out of sequins. <laughs> Pretty cool. I thought that was maybe some like high-waisted shorts or something would pack, or skirt of some kind would be nice for like if we ever went to Animal Kingdom for the evening. This is my Minnie Mouse outfit. I've got to keep this because it still fits. It's a bit short, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. <laughs> now you are too small. And not my style anymore. I used to be really into wrap dresses and things like that. Not quite anymore. Now you, I'm gonna keep you, but you're gonna go in the autumn wardrobe. Now do I do it spring, summer? Yeah, I do spring, summer, autumn, winter. Yeah, I think I do need to do that because spring it starts getting warm. So I bring out the skirts and I'll keep any for the autumn. But this is autumn coloured. So that's why it goes in the autumn wardrobe then autumn starts getting cold yeah this will go in the autumn winter wardrobe i haven't even worn this yet because i bought it and then we had a heat wave <laughs> but i bought a um shirt dress and i really like it and i will wear it in the winter <laughs> but um it's just too warm now <laughs> my new dungarees i got for my birthday i have to keep these this also used to be a real trend of mine <laughs> no shoulders um so I have this sparkly, it was a top, but I think I used to wear it as like a t-shirt dress with some leggings or some shorts, but it's not a bit of me anymore. All of these things that I'm getting rid of, I'll be happy about and then I'll regret it. <laughs> Anyone else do that? Now this is a dress I need to wear more. It is a wrap dress, but I do really like it. I wore it to my sister's wedding, I know it's white and I shouldn't have worn it to a wedding, but it's white and blue, so it's fine. But I really like it, so I want to wear it in the summer, just to wear, because it's just nice. I need to start doing that. I need to, need to start wearing things just out rather than saving them for special occasions that never come. And I really like this, but mum told me it's too tight for me now, so I need to get rid of it. <laughs> and then I'll let off the rest of my clothes are just long dresses. Like <laughs> this one. I really like this one, so I'm gonna take it on holiday. This one has also been a holiday staple for me, but I don't tend to wear it at home. So maybe it can just live in the suitcase. <laughs> Emma gave me this dress, and I really like it, but it's not really a holiday dress. But again, it's another one that I'm gonna try and wear more. It's just a blue stripe, and it's real nice to wear these white trousers in the summer too because I bought them to wear to work because they've just got like a thin stripe down them I do like them um, 
but I think I need to, I've never wear, worn them, so I think I need to wear them to know that I like them. Does anyone else do that? They buy things that they like the look of, but then until you actually wear them out and enjoy wearing them, you won't wear them again. <laughs> but I've got some three quarter length trousers to wear on holiday. <laughs> Another skirt that's slightly too small for me now. And some trousers that are too tight for me now. These are basically the same and they were so comfy. They're from Stradivarius. I bought them when they were slightly less well known as a brand and they were slightly cheaper. Like these were, I think, £10. But if I was to buy them now, I bet they'd be like £27. Pound. <laughs> I got this in Uniqlo in Florida. I do love it, but it's more of a going out for a meal kind of thing rather than holiday but I'm gonna keep it because I do love it and it has pockets <laughs> right this dress is broken I keep saying I want to fix it <laughs> but I don't know how <gasps> I need to replace the zip but I don't know how I'm gonna keep this out and see if my mum will actually do it for me <laughs> I do really like it. it ties up at the front and it's this is white flowery pattern. So I do really like it. I just wish it wasn't broken. <laughs> My summer dress. I love this dress. This is a very much just at home dress as well though. My yellow gingham. Picnic blanket. Oh, Tom rang me. What? Hello. Hello. I love this dress too. This is the dress I wore to Helena Martin's wife. <laughs> this is the dress I wore to Helena Martin's wedding. And I really like it, but it's too nice just to wear. So it is more of a event dress. This will go in the event wardrobe. <laughs> and then my polka dot Mickey play suit. And I do wear this still. I wore it on the cruise. So that can say, will I wear this one? This is another going out bit in the autumn. I do like it, but no, I'm gonna get rid of it. I wore it to do a wedding the other week. Someone told me I looked nice and I didn't believe them. So that if that's not proof enough to get rid of it, I don't know what is. Okay. All my long things do now fit in that space. You can't see. Hey look, there's a big gap now. All my long things fit. And then there's a big gap. Sorted. Now, just to sort this mess out. <laughs> Good evening, guys. It is a lot later. We've got some din din. I've had a nap. You've had a nap. <laughs> um, but we have got pasta for dinner today. But I found a new kind of pasta. This is called Giggly. It made me laugh. <laughs> but it's all like twirly whirl. It's like they've taken the shape of the butterflies and just twizzled it rather than butterflied it. So I'm interested and I just had to try it because, you know, pasta shapes. <laughs> but right, we're officially into season two. <laughs> of Stranger Things. Yeah. People keep asking me when I'm telling them at work that we're watching it from the beginning. They're like, you've never seen Stranger Things. I'm like, yeah, we have. We just wanted to rewatch it. We just wanted to rewatch it before season four because it's been a long time since season three. So mm. we did, we forgot a lot. It's like I remember things, but I don't remember things. But season two time.